In this video, I'm going to go over our t field tensiometer. Uh, this field tensiometer gives you values of the force it takes to pull apart a peel or a shear test on a wedge sample test or an extrusion test. Um, this unit is 120 volt or 240 volts and the power cord goes to the back. There's a switch uh, that is on off. Um, when you order, you uh, request if it's going to be 120 volt or 240 volt. The motor direction switch right there, peak hold and calibrate. We're going to keep it at peak hold for the technician um, that holds its peak value basically. Uh, you can zero it out right there. Um, this switch right here actually moves that right jaw 2 inches per minute or 20 inches per minute. Most of the time the specs call for 2 inches per minute. What we'll do now is stop that right jaw enough where we have uh, enough room to load up our sample. We'll clamp down on the right side. Now we'll fold up that sample a little bit so that we can move that right jaw to the left. So we can enter into the left jaw. That left jaw is a round jaw and it's on an eccentric system. So the more that it moves to the right, the tighter it gets. We'll go ahead and start our test at two inches per minute. Zero it out. Move that motor direction to the right. This is 80 mil plastic, so it should break at 121 pounds. You can see the numbers are starting to go up. This tensiometer requires a calibration certificate, um, and most of the time it is yearly that you need it to be updated. What you need to do is send in that load cell to us to calibrate that uh, load cell. We'll issue you a calibration certificate. Um, but if you're not able to send it in to us, any laboratory in any city around the world will be able to send in, uh, issue a calibration certificate. So we are way beyond 121 pounds. So this sample has passed, as you can see right here to the right, right there, that is starting to peel apart and it broke right at the weld and that's what you wanna see. Thank you for watching this video.